Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to stream to your second computer without a capture card or a uh, secondary ethernet port. Uh, there will be no help from uh, Linux VirtualBox or anything. Everything will work on Windows. You don't need anything else. So first, go to your second computer and go to the start menu. Type in CMD to get the CMD up. And then type IP config. Once you've done that, you'll be able to get these addresses. Uh, you're going to want to have your IPv4 address. That's the one you're going to want to save. Now, you're also going to need the default gateway key for the next part. Alright, so once you have that default gateway, you're going to want to go to your internet browser and type in the numbers like this that will allow you access to your router now you might be uh, your router might ask you for a uh, password and a username uh, usually you can use google the name of your router and you will be able to get your password and username for your router but once you're in your router you're going to want to go to your port forwarding uh, and then create a new uh, ipv4 rule it's gonna look something like this. You, this is where you're going to need your IPv4 address of your second PC. So you put your IPv4 address from your second PC and then you put a port like uh, for example it could be 1935, that, that doesn't matter. But it's just an example. And the protocol needs to be TCP and then just hit apply and uh, then you've done the port forwarding part. Once you've done that you, you go back to your first PC and uh, you go to OBS. Uh, I use OBS for this. But you get to OBS. You go into settings and then stream or broadcast settings. You're gonna, going to want to put this. You want to put RTMP and uh, your IPv4 address for your second PC. I would put the RN RTMP in the description and slash live. On the stream key, you can put whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I have test. It doesn't matter what you have. Uh, just put something simple in there. Okay, for the next part, you're going to want to go to your second PC and download a program named I NGX. Uh, the link will be in the description for it. Uh, but it looks the website looks something like this, but I will have the download link for a NGX server in the description uh, There is no pro no virtual Linux program needed for this everything is already Configured so there's no need for you to change it All you need to do is download and run it and it should work now after you have downloaded it and uh, Run it you need to go to your task manager just go into your task manager and go to deta details and then just type ngx just type n you will see here ngx and it should be running now for the next part you need to download vlc media player a link will be in the description you download vlc media player you open it up like this it would kind of look like this you go to media and then open network stream here you will type in an address uh, it will be our it will look something like this RTMP your local an example here your local IPv4 address of your second computer because we port forward it this is gonna be the port forwarding part but you put it here your from your second computer you install NGX on your second computer and then you do this you do slash live slash test because that's the stream key and then you just play press play and then you start streaming the next part is after you've downloaded everything and the settings are up then you go into your OBS and then you go to settings and output or broadcast set, uh, encoding I mean and then on your main PC, this is your first PC, the one you'll be playing on. You put a high bitrate, I have 50,000, because you're going to be streaming to your second computer, you're not streaming to Twitch, so you're streaming to your second computer. The best thing I 
found out is if you use uh, NVENC, NVENC, which is the NVIDIA rendering, it basically allows you to use your NVIDIA graphics card as a, re as a rendering instead of your uh, CPU, which uh, in my opinion is a little bit better because you don't strain the computer as much you you get you get no performance drop so you put you simply just put the uh, bit rate at 50,000 if you have an Nvidia graphics card use NVENC then you just start streaming and you will be streaming to your second computer now to uh, your own LAN there's no card needed so for the final part on your now we're on the second computer you're going to want to use a different bit rate on your second computer, you're going to want to do your settings. Let's say this is the second computer, all right? You want to put 3,500 here. Because that's, like, if you're non-partnered with Twitch, it's basically the only, the highest bitrate you can actually output on Twitch. Depending on how much your upload speed is, of course. Simply just capture VLC, like you open VLC once you're streaming to it uh, You can just create a session and just use uh, VLC video source or uh, a Window capturing and just you just capture the window in the VLC and you will be able to stream that to twitch from your second computer It really is as simple as that. Thank you for watching